welcome to Body by JR TV. Today's workout is your one dumbbell upper body workout. And if you haven't got a dumbbell, then you can use another weighted item or a household item. Okay guys, so we're gonna make it nice and challenging today. We're gonna to make sure that you activate your core whilst you're lifting the one dumbbell, or as Jordan said, household item. We're gonna make your body work hard in, it, in its entirety, okay? Yeah. So without further ado, we're gonna take it for a warm up, okay? So I'm going to just start by rotating the arms around the welds. Okay, a lot more upper body as we say is the focus today. So we need to make sure we're nice and warm. And forwards. Okay, just loosen the arms up. Last to do some high knees. Down on the floor into some press ups. Go on your knees if you can't. Two more. Good. On your elbows, tucking the knees in, and back up to our hands, out in front, out to the sides. Keep going guys. And back to our feet then. Star jumps. Can they get warm? And a jog on the spot. Or a sprint on the spot. Okay, so it should be nice and warm. Right then guys, so the first exercise we are going to do, we are going to get in the half kneeling position. So we're down on one knee, and we're going to do Arnold presses. So we use a dumbbell from this supinated position, palm facing the face, twit, rotate, and press overhead. When we get to the halfway point, we're going to swap, okay? Mm -hmm. So, as we said today, a lot of the exercises we're going to activate our core, which makes us burn much more calories because we're going to use our full body to keep ourselves stable throughout each movement. And every exercise we do today, we will give an alternative for a slightly easier option. There's 10 stations, a minute in duration, and we repeat this twice without stopping. Okay, so we're going to get going in three, two, and one. Just listen out for our bell. So Ray, why are we on one knee? So it takes out the leg drive from the movement. If you were on your feet, you'd be using your knees to kind of push the dumbbell overhead. But doing it this way, we take that out. Swap sides and straight in. Arm out to the side for a little bit of counterbalance. And just keep your eye up on the top right hand side of the screen. You'll see our timer. That's how long you've got left, obviously. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna stay down. As we said, taking the knee drive out of the movement, or leg drive, we've got an upright row into a front raise, okay? If our piece of resistance is too heavy, use simply both use hands. both hands. So the elbow comes up and then the arm comes out straight. So this is all your shoulder work. Okay. 
and swap sides and straight in. Twenty seconds. Get an extra few reps in if you can. Less than ten. Okay, number three, we've got press ups, okay? So you can rest on the dumbbell and we'll swap halfway. It'll just give us a little bit more depth in the movement. Go okay. on your knees if you have to. Three, two, and one. Keep pushing. And swap sides with the dumbbell. Oh, shoulders should be getting tired. So, dumbbell pullover crunch now. So, dumbbell pullover, pullover, and crunch. So, if you can, keep your legs up, or if you have to, like me. Bring your legs to the floor on every rep. Come on, keep pushing as high as we can and then all the way down. Three, two, and one, to our feet then everyone. We're gonna do a dumbbell row, and we're gonna get in the RDL position, okay? This does require quite a lot of core activation, so if you can't do it, simply just do a row, bent over, keeping both legs on the floor. Driving the arm back towards the body. And change sides. Change leg if you're doing what Ray's doing. Keep going, less than 10 seconds. Stop there. Good. Okay, next one. Back down on the floor now. We've got the bridge shoulder, uh, chest press. So up in that bridge position and doing a chest press. We'll swap halfway. Keeping them hips up. Come down to the floor and then push. And change sides. Come on, keep pushing on this side. Oh, 
all the way to the end. And stop there. Okay, staying down the floor now. We've got the Renegade Rose. Okay. So we're going to swap sides after each rep. Here we go. If you need to, then drop to your knees. Try and keep your hips nice and level and nice and low. If you are finding it difficult, you can widen your stance of your feet. If you want to challenge yourself, keep them narrow. Stop there. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take a seat on the floor now. We've got the L sit shoulder press. We're going to sit nice and upright and we're pressing up. We'll swap sides on the halfway point. So, again, no leg drive in this one, a lot of core activation to stop yourself from leaning back. And swap sides. You'll find as well, if you haven't got heavy dumbbells at home that you'd normally use in a gym, then by doing this exercise, you don't actually need to go that heavy because it is challenging taking out that leg drive. And rest there. So we did this in the warm up guys. The plank front raise side raise, okay? So we do one side at a time and we'll swap halfway. So plank, front, side. That is very challenging, so if you need to, follow me, drop the dumbbell, no weight, and you can drop to your knees as well. Widen your stance if you need to, guys. Whoa. And swap sides. Come on. 15 seconds. Snatch burpees now. So, up on our feet, out, in, and snatch overhead. Let's go. Keep that dumbbell close to your body. We'll swap sides halfway. Exercise now that we did. It's a half kneeling Arnold press. Oh, ten 
down, 10 to go. We are halfway. Let's go. Round two. Woo. You know what's coming now. Round one was just a warm up. <laughs> Thought about that. And swap sides. Straight in. Twenty seconds. Come on, ten. Get those extra few reps in. Nice stop. Good. So stay in this kneeling position. We've got the upright row, front raise. Remember, use both hands if you need to. Whew, let's go. Up and out. Swap sides. When your upper body's gonna start burning now, but we have to keep going. Come on, guys. 15 seconds. Good. So, we're into our press-ups now. It's no shame if you have to go on your knees whatsoever. Just try and keep yourself moving for the whole minute, okay? Let's go. Coming as low as we can, and then big push up. One more, and change sides. Guys, Ooh. dumbbell pull over crunches. Okay, so pull it over and crunch it at the same time. Remember if you need to, bring your legs down to the floor and then back up again. Come on, we're over halfway now. Ten seconds to go. Hey, rest there. So, got the RDL row. So that single arm row with a leg raised if you can. Very challenging. Let's give it a go. If not, both feet on the floor 
and we row on one side keeping the back nice and straight arm coming up by the side of the body bending the elbow and change sides <laughs> this is why we call it the upper body strength workout how strong are you? how heavy can you make a small pair of dumbbells feel? and stop there down on the floor we go into our bridge press You'll notice everything that we do does require a lot of core engagement. We're going to get stronger all over. Keeping the hips up. Arm comes down and pushes back up. Change side. Keep pushing, less than ten. And stop there. Nice. Renegade rows now. We're in that high plank position. And we're going to swap arm um, that we row up. Remember, drop to your knees if you have to. Remember, if you find it difficult, widen that stance a little bit with your feet. Keep it narrow if you want to challenge yourself. We are over halfway. Good guys, rest there. So we've got L sit, shoulder press now. So we're gonna sit in this L position. Okay, 30 seconds each side, just shoulder pressing. Should be really burning now. Heart rate should be high. Come on, let's get through it. Keep pushing. Change sides. Twenty seconds. It's also a really good one to work on the shoulder mobility, guys. A lot of people sit at desk are quite, quite fotted, so rounded at the shoulders. This one's going to help straighten you out. Oh, stop there. Good. Back to that really challenging one in that high plank position. The front side raises. If you need to, drop the weight and just do it body weight. And again, drop to your knees if you have to as well. Oh, 
change side. Come on. Drop your knees if you have to. No shame in that. Oh, wow. oh. Okay guys, last exercise, snatch burpees. Staying on one side, halfway we change. Okay, so the last one guys, we have the snatch burpee. Alright, let's go. We will shake your arms at the halfway point. Come on, number 10 of 10. Don't give up now. And swap sides. Woo. Come on, 20 seconds to go. Yes. Woo, we did it. Yes. Good. So that was your upper body single dumbbell or single household item um, upper body strength workout. 20 minutes. Okay, so it's going to engage a lot of your core today. Um, you are using a full body, but it's predominantly upper body based, and you're going to get great results from just using one item of resistance. Okay, guys, and make sure you click the uh, watermark on the bottom right hand side of the screen. Um, so you can uh, subscribe for our future workouts. I think one of the next ones we've got coming up is your lower body strength, okay? So keep your eyes peeled for that one. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. We'll see you again soon.